Hey fellas, I know you're getting tired of these videos, but I need your advice. So I'm going to wire the light, run the wire underneath the tank, right here under the tank. It'll come out right here, go down that hole, come up. Now here's a question. I'm thinking about drilling this cover and mounting one of these switches right there in the middle. The belt runs up here and way down here, so there's lots of room right there for a switch. That'll help me route my wires. The worst case, I bring those lights through there and along that post, hook them up to the switch. I need a little teeny tiny battery to go inside of this. Tail light wires can hide easily under here. Ignition wires can run underneath to the coil. And then I've got to run them over to the distributor. <clears throat> Even though I have a stock Indian brake light switch, there's not really a way to mount it. It's designed to go on the fender. So I found myself in my junk box one of these old-timey chopper switches. I've ordered a new one that'll clamp onto the frame and hook up to that spring. Work perfectly. Once again, wires going underneath. Nice and neat. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's only one wire that comes up here to the distributor. Now that leaves a high beam, low beam switch. It's too far to reach out to the headlight to put it in there. I don't really want to drill into the bars. That's the most convenient. I could probably just put a toggle switch above or below the above or below the proposed ignition switch. So if I mount the ignition, let's get this nut off. If I mount the ignition like right there, I could probably mount a toggle switch right there, which I should be able to reach from a sitting position. The toggle could go up here if it had to, high beam, low beam. A belt quite a ways out of the way. So, <clears throat> anyway, those are my thoughts. I think that's a good spot for the ignition switch. And it stays tucked away behind the post so people don't really notice the wiring. Some folks have tried to get me to use the toolbox for wiring. But I think that would, that would be the spot for the ignition switch that would be neatest with the overall look. I've also decided that I'm going to make copper fuel lines. I'm going to get different fittings. And make all copper fuel lines that all connect. I'm not sure how to work in my filter. Plus, I don't have the proper positioning for the carburetor yet. So that's going to be really important when I lay out the lines. I um, had been looking for the oil fittings. Those nipples. Like this one that I had on the... I don't know if you can see it right in there. Those nipples... It turns out Greer sells those nipples and these fittings. So I just ordered one. I had gotten a compression fitting that could work, but I'd much rather keep these nipples. I think they look much neater and they're easier to install. So once those parts arrive, the oil will be hooked up. <coughs> the sump is all hooked up. I'm picking away at how to pull off the wiring, but a lot of wiring, even if the ignition switch is down there, right behind there, it's really going to be, I think that's going to be a pretty neat setup. So, tell me your thoughts, because I'm full of bright ideas, but I'm open to suggestions. Oh, also, I started shining up the crustiness, so this, this wheel was wildly crusty, as you can see before and after but it seems to be polishing up very nicely it's only going to take hours of polishing that's all